What's up guys? Uh, I'm starting this channel as a lawn care channel. Uh, I'm on business. And I'm going to go show you guys a my 2018 lawn care setup. Okay, we're going to start off with... Okay, we're gonna start with this mower. It, what is all that? And then I gotta clean it off again. I gotta wax it up. But this is a, I believe, 2017 Ford. It's a seven speed um, manual. It is a manual. Uh, what you think, you know, you ship, it's really not that. Uh, all you gotta do is just push on the clutch and that yellow. Really, all it is just like, like, you're slowly, like, it's basically like a cruise control. I guess that's what you can say it is. That's it. Uh, we got a cup holder. You have, like, normal, neutral covers. I always put a neutral when I'm done. I'm sure most people do that. Uh, and I got a bagger for it. And I had to put a bungee over this because if you don't, that flap right there, it'll like raise up some. And it just like will shoot grass at you and doesn't, you know, won't really collect it. But other than that, this is a good bagger. Um, you have to, you know, it has a vent. Uh, cost around 350 It has five heights. That's one. And finds all the way back up. You know, you get the gist. Um, see that? Nope. Yep. Cut this. Um, where's all this water coming from? It's not raining. Okay, well, that's weird, but probably for me. <laughs> oh, there's like some sticky stuff. It has to be from up there. Okay, whatever. We're sipping off from the point. Um, this is a four-year-old two-cycle TV 22. I got two of those. That one. You can see it a little right, right down there, but this one's a TB EC. This one's TB22, or that's TB22 EC. Uh, this one has the jolt sort. Right, right, right there. This one doesn't, of course, there's just a little compartment. Um, this one doesn't work. And I've tried, like, getting new lines for it and everything. Fixed it, but I don't really care. I just got this one. It's newer, it works. I think it's been running longer than that one has. A uh, straight shaft, not a curved shaft. Not a curved shaft. Uh, this is a works hedge trimmer. It does work. Uh, safe lower, it needs to be charged. The batteries don't really last too long for the older one. If you get a newer one, I think it lasts longer. Then I have an edge attachment. It's also curved, but it works. I never really use it because I need a new blade, and I'm too lazy to go get a blade. But yeah, you got one of those. Um, I actually bought a. I was gonna buy a blade last night, but I don't think it's the right size. Cost ten dollars, so and I could buy like a whole pack for like ten dollars. So I just decided to wait off. Um, I got a handheld. Oh my! Uh, handheld blower. Uh, it works, but I kind of work it because I took the gas lines out of this, put them into that one that don't work. So now I got two going that don't work that could be working. Uh, this one could be working rather. Uh, next, I have a Pro backpack leaf blower. It's a PR. 4-6 BT. Um, 
it works good. It really does work good. I have no complaints. It cost around two hundred nineteen dollars. Uh, my problem that I did have something wrong with it was I didn't like clean it, but uh, if you like try to give it full, just shut off and um, and don't do that really. Now. Um, next we got this easy stow. There should be somewhere on that says it. Yeah, right here. It says easy stow by Arnold. Uh, it holds up to 800 pounds. It's just like some thick plastic with some edge buckles, but it like folds down to be like a flat bed. If you need it to be, so like if wood, you can just strap it down to make it a flat bed. Strap whatever you need down, really, that's it. Um, yes. Next, we have this. It's a trailer, and if you notice, that's darker than that. Because I just painted this yesterday. Um, we're gonna cover up my phone number. We have that. And then I have like a little light. So like nighttime and I need to get home, I could. Up here, um, yeah, but that's a much lighter green that was in there. I just painted this yesterday because I added plywood to the sides. So it's a lot taller. It's pretty sturdy, I guess. This one we had problems trying to tighten um, the person. So we got enough one of these or those bolts, nuts, whatever bolts, I guess. Those. And then we thought this was like the same size, but we didn't like measure it because we got out of the same box out of every single one. And you can see how short that one is. That one's like even longer. I like, tried cutting it right there yesterday. And it wouldn't, because that's all we needed was cutting that. But of course we couldn't, so. I mean, it's not like, it's still like not gonna go anywhere. So I'm not really too This one's on tight, and that one's on there pretty good too. I put brackets up there, and I'm gonna get more spray paint. I'm gonna start cutting that, and give this another cut on both sides, everywhere. And on the front. And then uh, we got those. And I have. I just bought this last night. I was gonna get the red gas, the red can for a gas can. Um, but it had the cheap nozzles, like this one did. And it was gonna break instantly, so I just decided to get this type. It, uh, like you have to press, it's like the yellow nozzle with the black, you have to press down and push. Guys, come on, it's better. Um, both five gallon. And this one would sometimes like leak, so I just had to get a new one, anyways. But they're both five gallon, so this is like a backup if I ever need one. Uh, that's blue, that's red, and I have a mix can that I barely use because I have about seven yards. Um, I've got an orange can, I got it at Lowe's. Then, this is when I first started mowing. Uh, first time that I used this was in third grade. I'm in seventh grade now, so it's about four years. Uh, <laughs> she has a hole right there. But it's been older than that because I've got this. This has been in the family, pretty much, I guess you could say. Um, I got a crack right right here you can see those lines right there there and there so it's kind of like vibrates a little sometimes um and a crack right there but other than that it's a little more 22 uh, inch real drive yes it is uh what's it called can they have the name self propelled it is self propelled. It's a tour recycler. And I'm gonna get a new mower, push mower soon. Cause I need one. But yeah, that's it. Personal pace. Um then we have a 48 inch, I believe. 
48 inch uh, aerator pull behind for my work. And I love it because it has the plugs, not the spikes. I personally, I mean, the spikes are okay, but I feel like these will do a little bit better. Um, and more people might like that, I don't know. But, yeah, they're the spikes. Uh, the plugs. So they look like hard poops everywhere, or dog crap. Uh, just got new tires on them. Haven't even used it since the new tires. And it's already dirty. But I can't keep things clean, I guess. Um, that's that. So technically, for 2018, all I'm using is an aerator push mower trailer trailer uh the speed eater edge trimmer blower that blower those gas cans cone and this one maybe edge or two so i'm not gonna use one two i'm not using two things out of this whole thing so that's good